So for me, clean, really fragrant flavours are something that always wins out for me. So I'm going to do my famous prawn miso soup. And it's very simple. Famous around the world, I believe. Well, famous in my house. <laughs> OK. All right. So what I'll get you to start with is I've got some hard tofu here. Um, really lovely addition. Again, it's more protein added to the diet. So I'll just get you to cube that for me. We're sure. going to add that at the end. I've also got some, you know, really flavoursome herbs. I've got coriander, which is very traditional in something like this. And because this has a Vietnamese flavour, Flavor to it. We've got some Vietnamese mint. Very strong in flavour. You don't need to have a lot of it. Now, the base of this soup is obviously miso. Now, I've got two different varieties of miso. Um, you're meant to have them at different times of year. And seeing as this is more of a, you know, sort of summery type of dish, I'm going to go for the soya bean miso. It's a lighter miso. And they say traditionally it has a very cooling effect on the body. So what I've got is I've got four cups of water and I'm going to add my two tablespoons. The key thing with miso is that you can't have the water brought up to the boil because miso has these amazing enzymes in it. What I tend to do is I bring the water to the boil first and then I turn it down. And that way you know you've got good hot water that's not going to kill these beautiful enzymes. I, I have to say, Zoe, I am a big advocate of a miso soup. I love miso soup. It's one of the things... I'll have one coffee in the morning and then I'll have a miso soup in the afternoon. Oh. Walk around, I get it, takeaway in a, in a, wow. in a coffee cup. So people think you're drinking coffee, but it's actually miso um, soup. I'm, but don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, it's I was the say. secret stays with us, <laughs> promise me. I like that. I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed. So I've got some anuki mushrooms. I've got some Swiss or brown we'll mushrooms tear, tear in there. these apart for you. That'll be great. The right. oyster mushrooms. And, of course, I'll get you to chop some hers for me. Now, I'm using good quality Australian green prawns. Again, obviously, we've de-veined them. We've taken off everything apart from the tails. But they're going to really help to flavour up this broth nicely. So you can pop them straight into the heat. And I'll grab these herbs, pop those in there. I'm going to add the tofu. Oh, that tofu nice. is really it's nice lovely. And soft, isn't it? Mm, it's beautiful. I mean, it's hard tofu, but I, it does have quite a silken. Oh my God, what did you just do? I just ate it raw. Am I going to die? No. <laughs> I love I it. I love it that you did that. <laughs> it's quite bland in flavour, and I think it's really important that you have dishes like this where you've actually got a lot of flavour around yeah. it because it's sort of like a. Like a, a, a jelly, like a milk jelly would yeah. be the description of, uh, of tofu. Look, I think tofu is one of those beautiful foods that you can add into anything and it just takes on the flavour. OK, so that is perfectly cooked. I'll get you to just put some bean it sprout. It looks great. It, there's lots of mushrooms in there. A lot of miso soup is just mainly just liquid, but you've got lots of things. It's a hearty soup, this one. All right, here we go. I'll get some tofu on there because I know... People like seeing me eat tofu, apparently. I Mushrooms love to on see there. You eat tofu. <laughs> mm. Lovely texture of the mushrooms. Quite strong in flavour. I love miso. But, uh. This is what you want. You know what, Adrian? I've definitely missed out this segment not eating the prawns. And once this beautiful baby is here in my arms, I will be eating prawns. And I will be introducing it to eating prawns as well. You are certainly <laughs> missing out in this episode. <laughs> 